profile videos or you are an educator who frequently uses places to animate then google art studio is a really very handy tool which can animate your places so in today's video we are going to demonstrate how we can use google art studios handy template to animate our locations so let's start it to follow along this tutorial you need google art studio adobe after effects and your chrome browser if first time you are using google art studio then you have to register for it and it will be approved within one day okay so let's start for the first step we have to create our map animation inside google art studio so open your google art studio so you can either create blank project or you can use their ready to use templates they are actually very wonderful to begin with which is zoom to places or orbit around and point to point location animation as well as the spiral animation for today's tutorial we are going to use this orbit template select it enter the place you want to animate around i am choosing this saputara mountain this is very famous tourist place in the south gujarat india but you can choose uh, any place of your choice then click next you can play around with these settings it's a radius uh, so if you adjust this radius uh, you will have less or more background if i want but i want to keep some background so i would be uh, resetting it then attitude it will by setting attitude you can move around the camera so you can adjust this setting as per your choice then click next it will ask you to set time so you can see here it is ready to use and you can directly render it to use it but wait we are we are going to add some track points so that when we bring this project into after effects uh, we can animate it little bit zoom it right click it and set the track point it is basically a camera target or the which has already been set because we choose the orbit around option so with this with same point we can add track point this is the current track point you can change its name i am changing it to sabutara and one other another important thing is you have to set as a local origin okay now it's time to render the animation click on render and it will ask you to save your project write down the name of your project and either you can select image sequence or you can select video i would be choosing image sequence but change the dimension to 4k and another important thing is change this from global to local and remember this if you have changed previously if you have carefully chosen the previous step then and then you can set here otherwise it will not allow you to set this so remember that so either you can have a clean or you can have the that browser otherwise it will stop rendering another important thing that i notice while rendering using the uh, using their video format uh, it is little bit uh, not as good as uh, rendering image sequences so i prefer rendering image sequence so once you render it it will save your file uh, wherever you have chosen it to save then you can run that script file directly into your adobe after effects so let's open our adobe after effects click on script click on run script and choose the file where you have saved it select it and boom all right so once you import this project into google adobe after effect everything has been set camera control your text your image sequences everything is ready inside the composition now we can change the size of our text we can move around our text using this x y and z axis x axis will help you to make it vertical or horizontal 
and with the use of the y axis you can change the direction of the text so play around with this axis so you you become very comfortable with the axis how to use them or how to move our text or manipulate our text and you and you can also change the font of your text you can move around your text using the y axis so there are two handles one handle is to change the position and one handle is to rotate it remember that and you will only know once you start playing with these handles see now i am moving this oh so we have now our text ready and uh, one one another important thing we have to do it here that change it from the classical 3d to cinema 4d you can do it from here or you can either go go to your composition setting and from there also you can set this come go to composition setting and from 3d renderer to of cinema 4d why we are changing this because we want to give some nice cool 3d animation and it can only be done by using this cinema 4d so now it has added one another option to our text that is a geometry option and from the geometry option we can change lot of things first we are going to make some uh, we are going to give some extrusion so change is to 30 or 33 or something we can also manipulate it later on okay now let us add some light so click new select light and enter and select the ambient light and intensity reduces to around 60 to 65 percent we can also tweak it later on also add another light at this time select this time select the spotlight after doing this uh, parent your spotlight with your text layer so drag and drop uh, holding shift So that our lights fall on the text so how to do this change the z axis so pick the z axis and drag it to the point where it really gives you the kind of throwing light on our text you can also change the position of the y axis to little bit make it higher and looks like it is falling from the above like a sunlight you can change the uh, position of the axis you have to play around uh, to get comfortable with handling this axis because it is little bit tricky but still it is easy if you try to handle it okay so now it is good now it is looks like it is falling on my text all right select the text layer and change the bevel style to concave and change the bevel depth to something around 4 5 or 10 and you can also uh, change the bevel uh, change the extrusion depth to something around 43 44 uh, play around with it and try to and now it is ready to render see now it is uh, animating as well as the light is moving around with it and it's really look good so you can uh, tweak around your you can tweak with your uh, ambient light if you want you can increase it or reduce it change the position of the light finally it is ready to render you can export and render it select the place where you